Hello, and welcome to today's Quick Plays video on preflop combos. In this video, we're going to learn what combos are, how they're useful, and some quick hints to make life even easier. So without further ado, let's learn about combos. Combos, short for combinations, are simply how many ways you can make a certain hand. In poker, there are 52 cards, and in No Limit Hold'em, we are only dealt two cards, which still makes for our 1,326 different starting combos. Combos are quick ways to add up these possibilities, which can be very useful for simple hand reading and also advanced math. There are essentially two different types of starting hands, paired and unpaired, and unpaired hands can be either suited or unsuited. Let's start by looking at pairs. Do you know how many combos of pocket aces there are? There are actually six combos of aces. To visualize this, let's lay out all the combinations of aces out here. This is true for all pocket pairs, deuces through aces, so you can always quickly remember that there are six combos of each pocket pair preflop. What about unpaired hands? Well, for each unpaired hand, there are 16 combos. Let's look at ace-king and visualize these combos. We notice here that there are four combos of ace-king suited and 12 of ace-king offsuit. So for any suited hand, such as a suited connector or a suited ace, there are four possible combos. For any unsuited hand, there are 12, making a total of 16 combos for any unpaired hand. If you really dig math, then you may appreciate these simple formulas for understanding these number of combos. To figure out the combos of a pocket pair, we simply take this formula, where C equals A times A minus 1 divided by 2, where C equals combos and A equals available cards. So for aces, there are four available aces, the ace of spades, diamonds, hearts, and clubs, and we can simply plug it in to see that there are six possible combos of aces preflop. And for unpaired combos, we can use this formula, C equals A1 times A2, where C equals combos, and A1 equals available cards for the first card, and A2 equals available cards for the second card. So for ace-king, there are four possible aces and four possible kings, thus four times four equals 16. Easy enough, right? These combos and permutations are all part of statistics, and if you want to learn more, please check the links in the description box below. Knowing what combos are is good, but how can we use the concept in real time? We can use combos when hand reading preflop, as a logical way of hand reading postflop, and also for putting mathematical backing to preflop bluffs. Here's a simple example. Let's assume that early position would open raise a range of deuces plus, ace jack plus, and king queen. That's 142 combos. Then let's think about how often he would continue if we 3-bet him. If he would only continue against our 3-bet with queens plus ace-king, well that's 34 combos. By doing some very simple math of 34 divided by 142, we see he continues about 24% of the time and thus folds the other 76% of the time, making this a nice and profitable bluff, given our size only needs him to fold 67% of the time to make this outright profitable. We could even go a step further and explore the density of kings plus in that queens plus ace king range. Players new to this concept may think that because there are four different starting hands, queens, kings, aces, and ace king, that each has a 25% chance of being in that range. But in reality, we know that queens plus ace king is still 34 combos, and we know that there are 6 combos of aces and 6 of kings. So 12 divided by 34 means that 35% of a queens plus ace king range is exactly aces and kings, not the 50% that newer players may think. And best yet, none of this math is complex, and it's very powerful when bluffing and getting more aggressive in your game. All good hand readers and high level players understand combos and use them regularly. I constantly use them when analyzing hands away from the table, and even in real time when figuring out if enough combos will fold in order for me to bluff profitably. While even just a basic understanding of the concept is useful, practice it a few times so that it becomes second nature to think about hands in terms of combos rather than just raw hole cards. Before you know it, you'll be breaking down complicated hand histories with ease and putting more mathematical backing to your plays. If you have any questions at all, please don't hesitate to leave a comment below and make sure to give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. Also, feel free to subscribe to our channel to get access to new videos right away. Good luck and happy grinding.